If you want to organize an exhibition for your school or for your community, the most important thing is it's got to be inclusive because you want buy-in from an entire community. You want an audience for your show and you cannot leave anyone out. Some people are going to be talented artists, some people are not, but you've got to find a way to include everyone. I mean, that's really critical. The other thing is, what kind of space do you have? So that will determine what kind of groupings of the objects. And what you can do is, first of all, I always go through with, if you're doing it for school or community, you pretty much know what, what works you have to deal with. Look at those works of art and pick out the ones. What are the ones that are going to be the anchors for your exhibition? The ones that really send the message, the ones that are going to be the powerful objects that people remember. Those might form different sections of your show and then start looking at what are the other contributions that you have. And they start forming clusters by just sorting them out. Your exhibition sort of starts putting itself into place. And then you look, okay, what is the space that I've been given? Is it four blank walls? Are there doors in there that I have to consider? It becomes the interior decorating part of art. But I think for the most part, I mean, for any exhibition, Audience is always critical. And if your audience is your school, you want everyone to feel like there's a reason to go to your exhibition. Um, that's the most important part. And then try to discuss I mean, in the language that goes with, the writing that goes with it. If it's a school event, get others to help you um, articulate what is it about these artworks that everyone else then can see something in them. Um, are there things about your school that you want to express? Are there things about your community? Are there different experiences that people have had outside of school that are coming out in these artworks? These are all different kinds of, of approaches that you can take to it. But it's that constant balance between the artwork itself, the strength of that artwork, and then also physically how are you going to lay it out so that it's seen to its best advantage.